Audible.com is the internet's leading provider of spoken audio entertainment. Content from Audible is downloaded and playback on personal computers, CDs, iPods, your iPhone. Listen whenever and wherever you want. Audible has over 100,000 titles to choose from, every genre, so fiction, nonfiction, health, fitness, you know, whatever you're into, they've definitely got the book. Audible has it covered. Your choice. Go to audiblepodcast.com slash yogamazing and pick up the book of your choice. Welcome everyone to this edition of the Yoga Amazing Video Podcast. I am Chaz, I am your host, and welcome back. Now this week's email comes in from Marcy and she's from up north in Canada and she says, Chaz, can you help me realign my hips? Can you help my hips? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a hip kind of guy. So I think that I could find a series of poses that would be very beneficial for you because our hips are like storage bags for carrying around all of our stress throughout our day. So we need to release that stress through some yoga poses. So absolutely, that's what's going to be the focus today is yoga for the hips. Now, like Marcy, if you have an idea, please send it to me, chaz at yogamazing.com. Of course, you can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and in Twitter. And also, one thing coming up, as you see, Hi Yoga. It's a new program by Yoga Amazing. It's going to be available here soon, and it's high intensive interval yoga. So you're going to get cardio, and you're going to get yoga. So you're going to get the push, and you're also going to get the calming side of things. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's only about 20, 25 minutes per class. And these will be on sale at Yoga Amazing and Hi Yoga, H I I Yoga.com, real soon. Look for it coming up mm, really soon. Don't have a date, but I want you to check it out. So now remember as we go through today's class to breathe, relax, and have fun in this edition of the Yoga Amazing video podcast. Okay, we're going to start today's class. You know, typically we're always in child's pose, but today we're going to start it in a squat. So a lot of times people can't get into the squat. Uh, and they have to come up on their tiptoes. So I want you to get into the pose as best you can because it's great, great pose to do for the hips. So I'll turn a little bit sideways so you can see me. So the best way to get into this is not just go down. You want to stick your bottom way back and you're going to sit deep into it, okay? And then you're going to open up the feet and then you're going to drop it down. And then you're going to push the, bring the hands into prayer and push the uh, arms into the legs and push the legs into the arms. Now I want you to stay here and breathe. Just hang out with it. Just use this as your time to get in focus with the breath. Big inhales, big exhales through the nose. And then slowly release and we're going to come down to our knees and we're going to do what's called a f the frog pose a great pose to open up the hips as well so you're going to come down onto your mat you're going to open up your knees to the width of your mat come down to your forearms and then you're going to point your toes away from each other and then you're going to sit it in here and make sure you're making sure that you're Toes are pointing in opposite directions. And again, just another great pose. And I just want you to hang out here and breathe deeply through them. and then slowly release. From here, we're going to sit on our bottoms, get into a few other poses. Of course, we're all used to this one, the butterfly. We have a lot of poses we're gonna do sitting on the floor, and then we also have a lot of poses that we're gonna do standing up as well. So, 
figured that we could just start here since we were on the floor. And we'll probably come back down and do some repetitions of these a little later as well. So from here, you want to peel the feet apart like you're opening up a book, making sure that your little toes to your heels touch. And your, your um, knees may not be down as far as mine. Uh, they could be up higher, but I don't want you to uh, round in the back and shoulders coming up around your ears. Draw the shoulder blades down the back, peel the feet away, and just, as I always say, just go where you can go with the pose. That's all you need to worry about. It's not where I am, it's where you are. and release from here. We're going to take it up and back into a down dog for just a brief moment so we can set it into the other poses. So remember to flatten the palms, spread the fingers, sink it in here. And then from here, I want you to bring your right foot forward. You're gonna drop that knee and you're gonna bring your arms up and you're gonna root your hips down as you extend through the fingertips, deepen the breath. And then you're gonna take the hands down to the floor, dropping that leg open now, okay? And then you're gonna release from here. We're gonna take this leg back and I want you to roll that hip open, push it back and bring that knee through now for a pigeon. And you're gonna lift into the heart, get your extension and you're gonna feel it right there in your butt cheek and then stretch it out deep in the breath. And then slowly release, take it back to a down dog, bend the knees, push it back, sink it in. And let's bring the other foot forward. Again, bring it into a knee down lunge and arms up. Root the hips, extend through the fingers, soften the gaze, deepen the breath. and hands to the floor, dropping that knee open as you root the hips down even more. Deep in the breath. and bringing it up, rolling that hip open, pushing it back, knee coming through for pigeon, lifting into the heart, get your extension, and taking it down. Now if you wanna lay it all the way out on the floor for any of these poses, you're more than welcome to. Deepen the breath.
and take it back to a down dog. Sink it in here deep in the breath. Let your body open up. And I want you to walk your palms back. And then again, I want you just to take it back into a squat where we started. And just stay here for a few moments before we bring it up. And fingertips to the floor and let's bring it up to a standing position. Now from here, we're gonna open it up and just taking it straight into a warrior two. So remember warrior two, arms up, hips and chest facing towards me. And once you take a great big inhale, open up your stance so we really get the opening in the hips, arms up, inhaling. And as you exhale, sit into the pose. Remember, don't go forward, don't go back. Stay present in the moment. That's the future, that's the past, this is the present. So sink it in here, gaze forward deep in the breath. And up, hands to the hips, feet forward, begin to lift into the heart. And as you exhale, taking it down and sink. And up. Rotate to the other side, warrior two, arms up, big inhale. And as you exhale, bending that knee, lengthening through the arms, shoulder blades down, gazing forward deep in the breath. Back to the center, hands to the hips, lifting the heart. Inhaling, and as you exhale, take it down. And up. Now we're gonna take it into a warrior one lunge position. So bring it up, get your balance. Knee over ankle, and extend through the arms, firming up this back leg. Squeezing your boot, your glute, your booty, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> and squeeze and lengthen through the fingers deep in the breath. And up, arms out and down. Arms out and up. Rotate, arms up, get your lunge position going. Inhaling, and as you exhale, bending that front knee, sitting into it, firming up again, your glute, your boot, your boote, and your back leg deep in the breath. Release up, feet forward, and look, taking it down, and bringing it up. Hands to the hips, wiggle your feet in, coming in. Now we're going to be doing a chair pose uh, that's going to also work into our hips. And, how, and you're like, how are you going to do the chair pose? Because everybody knows the chair pose, okay? Now we're going to add something to it that's going to work the hips. So we're going to cross the, bring the right leg up, or whichever leg you want, and you're going to bring that up to this position, crossing it over. Think of this as a standing pigeon, and then we're going to bring it up, and then sit into it as you push that knee to the floor, reach with your arms, deep in the breath. Nice little balance hip pose here. Release. Let's rotate to the other side. It's the same thing, we're gonna cross 
the other leg up and over, get your balance, bring it up, and you're gonna sit into it. Deepen the breath. And release, hands to the chest. If you have problems with balance, use a wall or something. I don't want you to fall over. I don't want you to hurt yourself. So from here, we're just going to drop it straight down into a squat again. So now you can tell everybody you did squat today. And also, I continued that bad joke for many years. Okay, so stay here and breathe. and release. Come down to the floor and you're gonna do, you're gonna take, you're gonna point your knees towards me and you're gonna cross right at your knees. Now you may not be as flexible just yet for this. Great pose for the hips. So you want both knees pointing forward and your hips, you're, you may not be as close as this, uh, but just do as best as you can, making sure you can see my knees, how they're in alignment. I know I'm on the black mat, so that's why I want to make sure I pulled the pants up a little bit so you can see the knees. So then we're going to take the arms, cross them, right over left, lift, and then pull. So you also get a little bit in the shoulders as well with this. So stay here and deepen the breath. and release. Now we have to switch it up. We're going to take the knee that was on the top, put it on the bottom and put the other one on the top. So crossing it up, crossing the arms over again the other way and pull it down. and release. From here, we're gonna bring it to lying on our back, bringing our feet together for a reclined butterfly pose. Just stay here for a few moments, a few more poses and then we're done. From here, you're gonna bring the knees together. I'm gonna to squeeze it in. Now, from here, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna grab our feet and we're just gonna pull down. A lot of people call this the baby pose or the, uh, the bug pose. So whichever one you wanna call it, but work on getting those shins vertical, deep in the breath. Really, you can feel this within your hips for sure. Just really pull it down, deep in the breath. And release, squeeze it in, big hug, and then stretch it out on the floor for Shavasana, the resting pose. Just stay here, let your whole body relax, breathe and sink.
take the peace and the strength and share it. Namaste. Namaste.